Hello everyone, I'm Adreza. Welcome back. I'm again back with another English grammar related video. Today, we're going to discuss prepositions. Basically, we're going to discuss some confusing differences between some pairs of preposition. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between between and among, the difference between in and on and onto, to and towards, through and across, and with and by. So, I'm sure this video would be very helpful to you because there are a lot of people who are confused about where to use all of these prepositions. So, without any delay, let's begin. The first one is between and among. What is exactly the difference between these two prepositions? So, between and among are mostly used when we talk about distributing something between a few people, right? But what is exactly the difference between these two? The difference between between and among comes in the number of people or the number of choices. So, well, when something is distributed between two person, then we use between. When something is distributed between two or more than two person, then we use among. Okay, this is the basic difference. It might not be people, there might be any choices, right? So if there are two choices between, if there are more than two choices among, that is how we use it. Let's take an example. The teacher distributes the sweets between the two students, okay? Here we use between because we are just talking about two people, right? But the teacher distributed sweets among all the students of the class okay here we are talking about more than two people right so we use among now here take a look at these two sentences Raju was sitting dash Ronnie and Rahul here how many people are there Ronnie and Rahul two people so we will use between Now the next one is, he is popular, dash the students. The students means a lot of people, more than two, so among. So Raju was sitting between Ronnie and Rahul, but he is popular among all the students. So I hope you won't have any confusion on these two prepositions. Now let's move to the next pair, in and into. Well, both of this sound almost the same. How will we use in and how will we use into? Let me tell you. In indicates when something is present inside something covered in a box or in boundaries. Okay, that is when we use in. But what's the difference between in and into? Into is used when something moves inside of the other okay when something moves inside of something um, well it causes a movement let me give you an example he is in his house but he ran into his house here houses a closed space right so he is in his house he is sitting but he ran into his house. He caused movement there, right? He ran into his house. So, this is the difference between in and into. I am sitting in my room, but I walked into my room. So, this is the difference. Now, let us take a look at the sentences here. Alex is playing dash the garden. Well, playing, right? Did he move there? No. He is in there. So here we will use in. Alex is playing in the garden. The boy jumped das the pool. Now, the boy jumped. Jumped means caused a movement. The boy jumped into the pool. 
Okay, I hope the difference between N and N2 is clear. Now, let's move to the next pair, on and onto. The difference is almost the same as in and into. Well, on means something lying on the surface and onto means when you cause a movement, suppose jumped onto the bed. Let me give you an example. The cat is lying on the bed, right? It is a surface. Remember, we use in when we talk about a closed space. We use on when something is sitting on the surface when we talk about surface so the cat is sitting on the bed here the cat is simply sitting right no movement but the cat jumped onto the bed understood the difference it is almost the same as in and into the cat is sitting on the bed the cat jumped onto the bed so this is the difference between on and onto the book is dash the table the table a surface right but is the book moving no the book is just simply there so the book is on on the table i climbed dash the roof I climbed, right? I moved there. So I climbed onto the roof. Okay, so this is the difference between on and onto. Now the next one, to and towards. Well, these two, we can actually use these two in the same sentence. Okay, here we have taken a sentence where we can use to and towards as well. But there is a minute difference between both of these. Let me tell you the difference. To means I am going to the park. It means that I have a definite position where I need to go. So to the park means I'll stop while, when I reach the park. Right, I'm going to the park. I have a definite position. But towards means what? Towards does not have a definite position. I am going towards the park. It means I am just walking in the direction of the park. I am not going to the park. I am just walking towards the park. Okay? I am just walking in the direction of the park. So this is the difference between to and towards. One has a definite position, other does not. Towards only state the direction. Okay, I'm walking towards the mall. Okay, I'm just walking towards the direction of the mall, not to the mall. So this is how we use to and towards. So here, he is going, that's the hospital. Well, we can use to and towards as well. Right, so here, both of these are possible. He is going to the hospital. Means, he is going to the hospital. His main destination is the hospital. But he is going towards the hospital. It means he is not visiting the hospital. He is just going towards the direction of the hospital. The hospital is not the main position or the main destination. So, well, we can use anything here. So, just let's write two. Okay. He is going to the hospital. But remember towards is correct as well. Now let's move to the next pair that is through and across. They might sound almost the same but they have a difference. Through is used when we talk about something that passes um, through a closed space. Okay, When we talk about closed space we use through but when we talk about the surface we use across. I'm going to explain you with an example. I swimmed across the river. Okay, the river is a surface. I swimmed across the river. So there we use across. But through, the mouse ran through the hole. The hole is a closed space, right? So when we talk about a closed space, we use through. 
the mouse ran through the hole but I swimmed across the river. So that is actually the main difference between through and across. Now let's take a look at the sentences here. He is walking dash the bridge. Bridge. Bridge is what? The surface. So he is walking across the bridge. The train passed dash the tunnel. The train passed dash the tunnel. The tunnel here is a closed space, right? So the train passed across the tunnel? No. The train passed through the tunnel. So this is actually the main difference, the basic difference between through and across. Now the last pair is with and by. Well with and by the difference between them is actually very simple if you understand it. By. By is when something is done by someone, made by someone, right? Um, we always use by when something is created by someone. This cake is made by me. This show is organized by her. So here we use by when something is made or created by someone but where do we use with when we do something with them together okay suppose two people do something together so she did that with her okay that is how we use it so the main difference is so when something is created by someone we use by but when someone does something with someone we use with so this is the main difference. So let us take a look at the sentences here. Pride and Prejudice was written dash Jane Austen. So Jane Austen wrote Pride and Prejudice. It was created by her. So Pride and Prejudice was written by Jane Austen. Right. I went to the movies dash her yesterday here it's actually simple i went to the movies with her yesterday i and she we both went together i went to the movies with her yesterday so this is the main difference between by and with so these are actually some confusing pairs of preposition where many people make some mistakes silly mistakes i hope after this video you will not make any such mistakes while using these prepositions in your daily use sentences well this was for today if you have any doubts then please make sure to write it down in the comment box below if you like this video then click on the like button and to stay with me click on the subscribe button that's it for today thank you bye